hi everyone welcome back to our stream today we're going to continue with a new chapter this is chapter four or unit four of the novo espresso three so let me just check real quick to see if we are live i always have to do this check because for some reason yep i think so i think it's live great okay i can see my video now <laughs> all right then so let's continue the first thing as usual is you've got a bunch of themes and you've got a bunch of words here that you should ideally write down the translations for um so here we've got let's see condividere that means share this actually you see it a lot on websites in italian condividi con el tuo amico or something like that share with a friend okay so this time i'm just using my tablet let me see if this works fine although typing is uh well okay so just, oops that doesn't work no this is not very nice i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that <laughs> okay back to the keyboard right so this is share DG is a DG, yes, digitalizzazione, digitalization. Discussione, al verde, al verde actually means broke, they don't have any money. Posta elettronica, of course, that's email, but basically. Diffusione, spread, sintesi, huh, what's that? I've seen this word, I don't know what it means, though. Ah, okay, sorry, that makes sense. Uh, impegnato, impegnato, hmm, this word looks similar to uh, impiegato, but it's not the same, of course. Bocciare, if you think about it, you know, bocciare. Suscettibile, is susceptible. I don't know, but let me check for sure. Yes, yeah, liable touchy sensitive hmm, okay sometimes it's better to check although dick.cc really isn't um the best i'm trying to find an alternative so far you do have the option of just using a wiktionary which is also a great uh, resource so what was the word that we were looking for okay let me just do it all of these from the beginning so discussione is uh, I'm pretty sure it's discussion, but I think I did see another. It's like, for example, argumento is not argument, it's a theme or topic. So sometimes you might think, ah, this is so obvious. And, and you see, you see, argument, quarrel. That's why I didn't want to write down discussion because it can actually have multiple meanings. So it could be argument, but could even be a discussion. And argument doesn't always have to be something that's, you know, like out of rage or anger. But yeah, well, that's the most popular meaning. Posta electronica. Because sometimes these words with, you know, that are, well, basically Latin, they can be a little bit misleading at times. So it's always good to double check. Especially if it's not like something you're 100% sure about. Yeah, spread, as I was saying, spread. Impignato, who is, is that employee? No, I don't think that's employee, impignato. Maybe uh, impatient? Committed, oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Committed or, or busy. Committed or busy. Why is it? Oh, I've got a different keyboard. Let me just switch that. Okay, bocciare. Bocciare is... To be? No. It, it could be... Reject. Ah, okay. Reject something. Evoluzione is obviously evolution, but just to be sure. <laughs> Never be too sure. Evoluzione. Okay, great. Uh, Suscettibile is, um, acceptable, appoggiare, 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 ah, support. Wait, we've made it past the first page. Then we've got the next section, 
comunicare Okay, what does it say here? Guarda queste fotografie. A cosa ti fanno pensare? Parlane con un compagno. Look at these pictures. What do they make you think of? And talk with a friend. This is a warm-up classroom. You'll notice that the first page or the first second page or the first two pages of most course books, they tend to have warm-up exercises so to get people interested in a topic and that's actually how they taught us to teach as well i mean i don't know if you know but i'm essentially a teacher that's my day job <laughs> and so when i was trained by cambridge this is how we were taught okay the first thing you do is you warm up the classroom to to the activity or the theme or topic without directly saying oh today we're going to talk about using conjunctions right without because that, well, that's boring um so you you know um you have to kind of raise their curiosity to to ensure that they find it interesting um because learning, learning really should not be, you know, boring, of course. Anyway, quali dei seguenti metti di comunicazione? Oh, okay, so with communication, <clears throat> I would not have guessed communication. I would have guessed something like technology, social media. Because look, the kids are all on their phones and the people are reading newspapers. Okay, con quale frequenza? So what do you use? <clears throat> How often do you use? Uh, so which of these things do you use and how often because we've got all these words here right um spesso qualche volta so it's like a, a a scale let me actually use the um pencil here so this is very common right it's like you do that all the time this one is almost never so it's like a scale that goes you know from very common to almost never Quasi mai is almost never. Mai is never. But you can use never even when you mean extremely rarely. It kind of goes both ways. Anyway, so uh, oh, I don't, I've never used, I mean, when I was a child maybe, but nowadays, of course, not. Cellulare, uh, sempre. SMS is actually quite uncommon. All the time. Mail as well, yes. All the time. Ah, oh, I've never written a letter. And that's that. I think the point of this is to just briefly revise these adverbs, like sempre, always, quasi. If you just add quasi, that means almost. So quasi sempre, quasi mai, almost, always, almost, never. Spesso, frequently, qualche volta, sometimes, raramente, occasionally, not so commonly. And you got quasi mai, almost, never, and mai. Media e testi. Appena i testi ai media corrispondenti, come nell'esempio. So you've got a few dialogues or sentences, and you just, you know, add the appropriate letter. Okay. So you've got a few things there, like telefono, telefono, mail, SMS, Facebook, e lettera. Andrei, ma dove sei? Sono arrivato, sto parcheggiando. Arrivo tra cinque minuti. Okay, ti aspetto. And this, where would you see this kind of communication and they say okay well um, this 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 looks like maybe it's a call of course it can't be a letter because well letter or email i mean you're talking to a friend who's just coming to like in a few minutes they're coming up to your apartment so possibly telephone or you know facebook because of course people text nowadays on facebook so maybe this maybe that but i'll just leave that for now because if you had let's say if you were taking the exam <clears throat> Of course, I mean, telephone makes sense, but Facebook also makes sense. I mean, you could text your friend, hey, where are you, right? Um, but in an exam, you want to be sure, so it's always good to check other options. Like this one, for example, B has been done. And it says as mess. Oh, scusa, ho visto solo ora il tuo mess. Il tuo mess? What's that? Oh, il tuo messaggio. Okay, that's a short form. I'm so surprised. Uh, oh, it's so I just saw solo ora, just right now, il tuo messaggio. Non posso venire in pizzeria domani perché sono al verde. Magari ci sentiamo la prossim prossima settimana. Okay, prossima is shortened to prox. That's cool. You get to learn a bit of text speak. <laughs> Ciao, scusami se ti rispondo solo adesso, ma negli ultimi giorni non ho avuto tempo di controllare la posta. Posta, so that has to be. Lettera, that would be C. 
um, posta per sabato comunque siamo d'accordo ti chiamo quando stiamo per arrivare ti abbraccio Marina that's done gentile signora Torcello è con piacere che lei inviamo il programma dei corsi del francese presso il nostro istituto come da lei richiesto mm, this could be mail oh yeah this, this looks like an email wait a second mm, I think Could be, could be both ways. Mail is, I guess, they mean electronic mail. Because, well, you know, this, for example. Ah, but she did say pasta, so that would be, that would be, that would be letter. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. And usually, courses and all that, hmm, they might just inform you by mail. Okay. Finalmente oggi cominciano le, le vacanze. Sono sul traghetto per la Sardegna e tra qualche ora sarò al mare, sulla mia isola preferita. Ecco, volevo solo condividere con voi questa gioia. Appena arrivo posto qualche foto. Aspetto i vostri like. That's definitely Facebook. Ok. That's done. Oh, that is one sold. Ok, so that just leaves... Yeah, that makes sense. Ok. Okay, great. That's done. Oh, there's another video here as well. By the way, they have great videos. I keep saying this, I know. But you really should go to Alma TV, get yourself an account. They have really nice teachers. They've made all these videos and it's all free. You just have to enter a code from the book on some page number. Uh, or some of them, you just, you just have to sign up with your email. That's it. It's all free. Uh, Italiano si impara con Facebook. Questa è una nuvola dell'articolo che leggerai le parole più frequenti sono più grandi prova a discutere con un, uno o più compagni sui possibili contenuti del testo so the, it's a word cloud and you see the words that are larger in size these are words that are more common more frequently used lingua facebook scrittura bambini libro però And, well, they say you talk about it with a friend. Well, what is there to talk about? I say, again, it's just a classroom activity. It's not exam relevant. You can skip that. <clears throat> Ora leggi l'articolo. Articolo. Articolo. Sometimes the stress can be a bit funny, you know? So you have to, you have to listen to a lot of content so you can get a good natural instinct for the stress. Like, do, do you say, for example, l'articolo, 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 l'articolo. Uh, and the last two were obviously wrong. <laughs> It has to be l'articolo. <clears throat> But that is something you figure out um, because, of course, um, it's not like a couple other languages where it's a little bit more even because, you know, intonation is very important, especially so in Italian. Of course, it's important in any language. But here I find that it's a lot more important. Uh, they're very expressive when talking. And so it's a good idea to, I mean, if you're really doing a b1 program it's high time you start just listening to content in italian it can just be simple podcasts even uh, it could be podcasts made for learners so we call that um uh, graded content so it's made specifically for people who are learning but you could even just i mean you know it, it, it's not like it's italian is not like you know like russian or, or german even Well, I mean, even German, you know, after a certain point, like let's say after B1, new words that you might encounter really are just compound words. So it's very easy to guess the meaning. And guessing is actually a very important skill. Just because you guess something, that doesn't mean, oh, that's a bad thing you shouldn't guess. You should definitely guess because, you know, that's how you exercise your brain pretty much. You're building connections that lead to long-term memory. So, yeah, what was I... What was the point? I kind of just got sidetracked. <laughs> um, the words? No, the learning? Oh, yes, listening to content so that you get an idea of, um, you know, where to place uh, stress. I still remember when I was in A1 and A2, I had a, I don't know, for some reason, you know how it, uh, for example, the last uh, conjugation, Laurel form, I would always, uh, let's say, for example, <clears throat> um, Loro comprano. It should be comprano, but I would maybe say comprano. I would put the stress on the wrong syllable. And so every time, you know, he would, the professor would correct me. And then eventually it like kind of, you know, sunk because I was getting corrected frequently. That's, that's really what helped to, um, 
help that <laughs> correction really stick if it just if the correction just happened once or twice i would probably still be making the same mistake today but because i was you know constantly being corrected now i know ah okay okay i have to be very particular whenever i you know use a laurel um conjugation and when i say the word out loud Right, so ora leggi l'articolo quando sei da ok. Mm, read the article, just read the article. L'Italia si impara con Facebook di Alex Corlazzo. Corlazzo lì. L'italiano ai tempi di Facebook è promosso. Mm. Anche l'Accademia della Cruscia. Cruscia? Crusca? Mm, I think it should be Crusca, but you know what? DPL has a great feature. You can actually hear it pronounced. By the way, this is not the best idea. In fact, there's a much better website called Forvo.com. I don't know if you've heard of it, but Forvo is amazing because you can put in any word, for example, and you can just click on here. And there you go. So you can hear it. Kruska. Kruska, okay. Accademia della Crusca. Perfect. You see how they have not just words, but also phrases. Accademia della Crusca. Accademia della Crusca. Okay. This is fun. And uh, the great thing is, this is just, you know, for example, if you scroll... Oh, there's only... Okay, there's... Well, you know, with some um, words and... Yeah, if you click on the word, then you can find... Ah, see? Here you have two different people who recorded their pronunciation, so... Kruska. 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 Great. So, and again, you know, you have, for example, um, depending on the region, the pronunciation can be different. For example, I recently uh, saw this movie and it was partially in Romanesque. They, they would say things like sordi instead of soldi. Uh, so they changed the R's with the L's and even the, um, I think P's and B's were also a bit. So listening to it for the first time was a bit like, oh, why are they speaking like that? It was, I was like, oh my God, am I, am I, am I mishearing things? But no, then I went to the Wikipedia page and I saw, oh, okay. So it's in, it's partially in a dialect. So that can be very useful. Um, this is a great resource. So if you're ever, not never sure, like here, for example, if I check. Kruska not bad i mean this is pretty much the same but hearing it because again the deep l translation is just i think it's an ai translation i mean sorry the the, the audio the audio but here you have real people so you play this Kruska. and you get a very good um oops what's that anyway so that's a great site i don't know if you've uh, heard of it but it's something i think you should bookmark <laughs> because you have a lot of oh wow they even have guides i never saw any of you know, when I found about the website, it was very different. Now it's a lot better. So yeah, this is a great um, resource. You might feel like, and again, we didn't have this like 10, 15 years ago. You know, it's so amazing, all these. And again, it's all built by contributors. So, you know, whatever language you speak, by the way, you can even add translations of words. I mean, sorry, I don't mean translations. I mean pronunciations. You can record yourself um, and you can, you know. Uh, that's a great way to help, you know, the language learning community. Okay, so we come back here. Italiano ai tempi di Facebook è promosso anche l'Accademia della Crusca. Crusca? Yeah, now I know. Now I know. Because it's so important to make mistakes. Make as many mistakes as you can. Um, just have those mistakes be corrected. Because otherwise, well, it's pointless. But if you, you make a mistake and you correct it, that's the cycle. And that, that helps with learning. Uh, infatti ritiene che il linguaggio scritto usato su PC sia una nuova risorsa da esplorare. Forse fino ad oggi alcuni insegnanti avevano paura che la lingua del web fosse troppo impura per proporla in classe, ma dopo la formazione della più importante istituzione italiana sulla lingua, anche quello dei social network deve essere considerato italiano a tutti gli effetti. A tutti gli effetti. This is basically to say, what's the term in English? I forgot. Ah, for all intents and purposes. I think that's it. 
I'm not gonna check though because anyway, if I if I stopped and checked every single tiny thing, that would that would be like way too much time. And it's not a bad habit. I'm just too lazy to do that. And I usually learn by listening to content or reading stuff. And by, by stuff, I don't mean books necessarily. Of course, I read books, um, but just reading, like even just you know a very like hundred word news article, that all is also reading. Um, all right. Uh, si invita quindi a lavorare con gli studenti utilizzando proprio Twitter o Facebook, ovvero gli, gli strumenti che loro usano nella vita quotidiana. Il tema divide gli esperti. Un recente libro di Manfred Spitzer, Demenza Digitale, boccia le nuove tecnologie a scuola. Ora, io sono un insegnante e la maggior parte dei miei alcuni non hanno in casa un libro ma un profilo Facebook. I miei ragazzi non scriveranno mai lettere usando la penna, ma invieranno mail e post per trovare lavoro, per conquistare una ragazza, per creare un evento. Lo stesso tempo fa pensavo che eh, questo rappresentasse un pericolo per loro e per l'evoluzione della lingua italiana. Temevo che la velocità dei social network creasse una lingua povera e nello stesso tempo rallentasse la capacità di apprendimento dei ragazzi. Ma poi, guardando in faccia la realtà, ho cambiato idea. After looking at how things are, I changed my mind. Ho cambiato idea. Però, c'è un però. Da insegnante cerco anche di far capire ai miei studenti che l'esercizio della scrittura e della lettura non so più molto più lento, riflessivi, riflessivo e impegnativo li continuerà ad aiutare a fermarsi sul significato delle parole. La verità è che abbiamo ancora bisogno della matita ma non possiamo fare a meno dei tablet, anche per scrivere e leggere. Okay. Rimetti al posto giusto queste due citazioni. Vanno alla fine di due paragrafi. Ok, <coughs> posto no, giusto, queste due citazioni vanno alla fine di due paragrafi. Ah, uh, which one go... F I don't know why there's a graph here. Ah, ok, I think... Or, quando si Ah, ok, continuo. Ok, indicate a percentage from 0 to 1. Mm, quanto siete andati vicino al contenuto? Ok, so you have to think a little bit. It's basically, ok, well, what I'll do is I'll do... Hmm. How close did you get to the content? What does that even mean? Quando si, quanto siete andati vicino al content? I mean, uh, do they mean to say, does it make sense? How close did you get to the content? Oh, I think it was related to this. Anyway, that's a kind of a random pointless exercise. Rimetti al posto giusto queste due citazioni. Okay, so you've got these quotes. And they do a paragraph. But there are more than two paragraphs. Okay, well, you first have to read the quotes. Okay, okay, so these two go at the end of two paragraphs, but you have to figure out, do they go at the end of one, two, three, four, or five? Okay, so. Internet ha aperto diversi spazi di scrittura rispetto a quelli già conosciuti, che si usavano prima dell'arrivo del PC. Twitter obbliga a un testo breve, che sia però chiaro e diretto. Un, es un esercizio alla sintesi estrema, pressoché inesistente nelle scuole. Mentre Facebook o la posta elettronica lasciano più spazio all'espressione, spesso spontanea. Alla luce della grande diffusione degli strumenti di scrittura digitali, non sorprende che sempre più spesso i bambini abbiano il loro primo contatto con la lingua scritta in questo modo. I risultati dei primi studi su questo argomento indicano che una cresciuta digitazione 
digitalizzazione della struttura ha conseguenze negative sulla capacità di lettura di bambini e adulti. So now I need to put them in the right place. Twitter is for short text, Facebook is for more expressive text. That's basically what paragraph, I mean, uh, quote A, A is saying. I don't think it will be at the end of here. Okay, A. Niente. Il tema di vita degli esperti. Un ricento libro, voce molto maggiore a scuola. Hmm. Okay, it can't be the first one though. No very source of this one. Or say, fino ad oggi ho un insegnante di paura che la lingua del mio posto per un filo per fare il passo. This can't be here, maybe. Ah, maybe this would be at the end of. Too. It makes sense because I refer to Twitter and Facebook specifically here as well. And which is the brand of some of ones are really good. Cheon Peron, no? And where they can't be a version. Yeah, I think B would then be over here. Hmm. Because it's a little bit negative. Basically saying that children get their first exposure to languages on these, you know, with these digital platforms. So it could negatively impact their ability to write well. Hmm. Maybe at the end of three or at the end of four. I don't know. It seems to make sense either way. Let me see. Okay, with it. Oh, no, 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 cambiato idea. So it can't be for then, because his paragraph is rather a bit positive. In the beginning, he thought, oh, it was a bad thing, but now he thinks, okay, it's not so, not so bad. Okay, maybe it's two and three. Let's check. Okay, A, D, B, C, A, C, B, E, D. Ah, that was incorrect. This would be G. This would be D. Oh. Hmm. But you know what? It makes sense either way, doesn't it? That's why, hmm. Well, anyway, that's fine. Just a thing. Uh, and here we have, um, here over here, A, 1, B, 3. Ah, so this one was fine. This one would be one. Hmm, okay. Una nuova risorsa da esplorare. That's why I think this actually, okay, now that I think about it, it makes sense. Makes sense, yeah. Fino, da da da. Okay, well, uh, to the next one. Ah, in un tweet. Scrivi un tweet. Ooh, cento quattro. 140 caratteri, spazi compresi, including spaces, che riassuma l'articolo del punto 3. Ok, so you have to basically summarize. Oh, ok. Summarize the article in 140 characters, that's a bit, uh, a bit difficult. <laughs> ok, that is strange, I'm not sure exactly, because it's a huge... I mean, 140 characters is basically three sentences, maybe. Nowadays, they don't have 140 characters. I think it's more than that. So this is a bit unfair. I think well you're not supposed to share your opinion so that wouldn't that wouldn't really fit it's a bit uh, synthetic ah okay hmm because you're just you're just you know sharing what's already here so what i'll do is i'll just first copy the text and 
it here so I can see. Oops, where's the screenshot button? Oh no, what did I do? Okay, there we go. And now I have to write a summary. What's funny is, um, we won't read Kiria Sumalat. There's no instructions on how to do that. Oh, summary. How to write a summary? Wait, Ria Sumo on Rias. No, what's the noun? Daisy. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, come si scrive? Una, un, uno. Mm, let me check. Noun, but what is it? Is it? Oh, it's seven. Okay. Come si fa un riassunto? Oh, nice. Because sometimes you need to check online guides. Like, they're a lot more detailed. Obviously, a book will have its limits because you can't have a huge, heavy book. <laughs> We're going to have to drag that to their classrooms. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a nice side scuola. But why is it... They misspelled it. That's strange. I guess that's on it well oh well there's a new website let me see if i on the asunto let me see if i'm going to put on it how do you write ah there's so much background info just get straight to the point okay do we fall you uno per la brutta copia rough copia una per la bella huh that's interesting brutta copia bella and matita gomma da cancellare what this is for kids that you was totally in the party più importanti. Okay. Ah, okay. Makes sense. First, you mark the most important things. And here also, you have simil something similar, no? Because you have in English as well. Key, who, what, when, where, why, except they don't all start with the same sound. Key, cosa, quando is okay. The sound, you know, they have the same similar starting sound. But dove, perché? Okay. So, so the five W's basically. Okay. Oh, what I'll do is I'll mark then the important pieces of text. And the teachers are afraid. through facebook that we use in everyday life but the experts are divided libro da, 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 da. Gotcha. okay his own opinion io sono insegnante okay il autore um and so his his students don't have a book at home, but they all have Facebook profiles. He sees that his children, oh, the kids, the young people, okay, they don't they don't use my letter. Uh, he thought it was a danger, but now he sees that. Uh, and now he sees that it's well not too bad after all, basically. Povera, rallenta sulla capacità, prende. 
guardando en mail e post ok però dai mm. non cerco anche di far capire ai studenti che ti succede a studio eh, a capire ai studenti non so c'è un That's that. Why should I like it? Pino Fox. Forse fino ad oggi alcuni insegnanti, ok, um, how do you say in the past, um, nel passato, nel, oh. ok, well I can use nel passato, thought, so thinking is, so this is pensato, imperfetto, um, Well, you already have pensavo, so you don't really need really need nel passato. No, it's obvious. Um, uh, yeah, wait. Pensavo. Okay. Um, la lingua di PC o la lingua... Linguaggio. Ok, linguaggio. I should use the word linguaggio. Is it like a diminutive? Like a, you know, cutifying in a way? Um, I mean, lingua... You know how they have these endings like otto, etto, one, ino, etc. So maybe that's one of those... Linguaggio, but linguaggio also means language, so no, I now I remember, I had uh, this word in my file, in fact. Okay, anyway, uh, and so, um, for the longest time, I want to say, I want to use this, these, these expressions for the longest. Ah, great, per molto tempo. Sometimes if you give it a if you give it a sentence, then it does a better job of finding the best expression. Yeah, per molto tempo. That's a nice phrase. Per molto tempo. The insegnanti pensavano che il linguaggio ma la lingua. So the gender uh, is of course different. Um, in, the, in the beginning, they thought it was a bad idea. Okay, um, la lingua. See, um, how do you even mm, la lingua si diventa uh, corrupted, basically corrompo, something like that. What's the adjective form of si diventa? Oof. Um, I know corrompere is, oops, I'm using different words to the text, um, I mean, you can of course, oh no, that's not the same thing, then what's the word for corrupt? <laughs> okay, um, I mean corrupt in the English sense, but of course here maybe they have a different word, so let's see, corrotto, danneggiato, in this, in this sense. Uh, like for example a corrupted file danneggiato okay corrotto you can also say corrotto but i don't know if you can use that word for language because again okay perf okay great corrotta okay la lingua si diventa corrotta uh, because how do you say uh, no not siccome due to i don't know the term for due to do i a causa di okay a causa di Uh, um, the internet basically or social media 
Uh, how they use the word social media? Yeah, they have. Social, non social, Facebook, Sperti. Lingua del web. Okay, so, but I mean, yeah, you could, you know, copy that, but <laughs> social network. Uh, causa di. Huh. Uh, what's the word? I know they use the word social. Sure. It's just, ah, right there's a chat. Chat, so chill network. But that doesn't sound very nice. I'll use, right there's a chat. E, right Okay, who was that one? I think that the language is going to be corrupted because of the reti sociali, sociali, ma um, oggi. Um, uh, loro, um, ho cambiato l'idea, ho cambiato idea, oops, there's a lot of, um, well, okay, first I have to check how many characters this is, because I, I don't think that's, that could be... Damn, that's already 140. How are you supposed to... God, that's just impossible. 140 characters, huh? That is just crazy. Look at that. 135 characters. I'm already at the end. There's no way I can do this. This doesn't make sense. I mean, what do they expect? And there's no sample given either. Ooh, okay. What if it's a, because a, a summary is, I mean, if you have a text like this, you would expect the summary to be maybe like one third, one fourth of the size. I'm trying to use nice expressions per molto tempo. I'm trying to use different tenses. I'm trying to use, uh, uh, si diventa. I'm trying to use all these things. And I really cannot, you know, it's, again, it's very, ah, I think that's the point of the article <laughs> that the kind of writing we do online, which is very, you know, breve which is very uh, short and to the point uh, it doesn't allow for expression and they say the exact wow this is a great way to teach huh <laughs> this is so smart because you'll see that here they say um i think toward the end over here somewhere over here da, 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 da. Oh, um, oh, over here, over here, this text, right? So, uh, fusione, non trato, da da da. Oh, okay, over here. Uh, Twitter, uh, un testo breve. Isia, despite its, you know, short uh, length, it can be very clear and direct. Sintesi estrema, a very, because you're forced, 140 words, I mean, <laughs> I experienced this firsthand. <laughs> That it's it forces you to be very direct, you know this this online language on Twitter, um, but then you have you know Facebook where you can have longer posts, you can be more expressive, where you basically not limited. Um, so yeah, wow, huh? That's uh, that was difficult to put it into 140, just 140 characters. I mean, I would have thought, okay, 100 words. But 140 characters, that's a different thing. <laughs> Great. E tu, qual è il tuo rapporto con internet? Cancella le parole che non riflettono le tue abitudini. Poi confrontati con un campane. Classwork exercise, you just have to check or, well, you know, put an X mark on the things or the websites you don't use. In fact, I use pretty much everything. Um, I don't really blog. Wow, I mean, I do everything except blogging. Like, who, who, who blogs these days? Yeah, I mean, what else is there to do? <laughs> okay, il congiuntivo imperfetto. Il verbo evidenziato nella frase del riquadro qui sotto è un congiuntivo imperfetto. Congiuntivo has four forms. It's a lot. Trova nel paragrafo del riquadro quattro. I don't know why my numbers are so bad. Quattro del testo del punto tre, altri tre verbi in questo tempo. E scrivili nella tabella qui sotto. So find other verbs in um, that text over there, that paragraph. 
that are in the congiuntivo imperfetto. Congiuntivo imperfetto. Just think, um, because the conjunctive has so many forms. My God, the the um, congiuntivo imperfetto is kind. Of, it's it's got all these s's now. Fosse, fossero. Um, but anyway, I have this. I keep coming back to this. Thank God I made this because otherwise I would have been so confused. Like uh, here, for example, where's the page? Ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, so for conjunctive forms, you see how it's got the S? These two are fine because, it will, you know, it's just a, what do you call them? Tempi composti. You have just the passato prossimo is anyway, very simple. Mm, okay, anyway, so where was I? Where was I? Okay, here. The phrase la trova nel paragrafo del testo del capitolo. Okay, very okay. So, fosse is, of course, um, congiuntivo imperfetto. Okay, so I need to find congiuntivo imperfetto. That would be after K. Uh, well, sia un nuovo no. Um, that's not, that's not congiuntivo imperfetto. Evan Paura. Fosse is one. That's I think already done. Deve essere considerato da interpretare. Uh, boccia. La maggior parte dei macchini non a casa. Preparano mai. Okay. Fa pensavo. No. How can that be right? No. Pensavo. Perfetto. Ah, rappresentasse. You have the double S. Is the verb of the double S. Is. <laughs> per loro, per le voce del temevo. No, that's just imperfetto. La città creasse. You'll find the conjunctive next to che in some way, shape, or form. So that's something to look out for. So you've got one, two, three. Povera rallentasse. You've got the double S is all the time. There we go, we found out our four verbs. So, rappresentasse. Rappresentasse. Oh! What's this? Um, okay. No. No. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so now what do I do? Um qui sotto. Okay, so you have the ah, I think this is showing you how it's made. For uh, oops, I cannot use tab here. Oh okay. Infinito would then be rap. Um, Rappresenta, crea, oops, uh, rallenta. Oh my god, this is so cool. You see how the congiuntivo imperfetto is made from the infinito plus SSE. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, have I gotten it right? Let me check. I can't believe it's it's that easy. Wow, okay. Al fine dopo aver verificato come mi deve per la pagina che da libertà. Uso. Fare facevo a posso ok facessi oh that's cool rappresentate wait I think I ah uh... I confused the imperativo with infinito because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, but in a way, it's kind of like interesting. Mm -hmm. Because, you know what? I think I, I actually stumbled upon an easy way to remember the conjunctivo imperfetto. Let me think about it. Let me just confirm because represent. Where's the website? There we go. Okay, so this is the verb, right? <clears throat> this is the um, infinito, basic form. But if you look at the, um, where is the, uh, what's that called? Imperativo, imperativo. Where's imperativo? Imperativo, rappresenta. 
this is the first of course the first imperativo for the i mean the, the sorry the second person second person yes to represent that okay so that's well the first you know form of course you don't have any you don't have an imperative form for io you just have the imperative forms for these five so rappresenta. okay so look at this it's so interesting i mean i think i really found an easy way to learn this form let me just put that in here i'm so excited about this wow okay let me see i'm gonna make a few tables should i maybe make three add it over here okay so we have for example conjuntivo perfect all right let's say you've got the smaller and you've got the um um and we can do it the reverse way as well uh, what am i thinking of let me just bring this over here is it so hard to uh it's not smooth uh, okay so you've got uh, you've got uh, let me just check crea ralenta crea 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 is crea okay great wow i really think i have stumbled upon an easy way yes yes oh my god i think i have it i think i have it okay let's take for example let's take the basic form infinito because of course you don't start with it let's say oh you you you're doing an exercise and you see ah oh, okay so the exercise says that i have to use the conjuntivo imperfetto um or maybe you're doing some kind of gap full exercise or whatever and you realize oh this is k something or whatever you realize hey i have to use the conjuntivo imperfetto but Hmm, I can't remember how to make it because the conjunctivo is so irritating. It has like four different forms and they're all very different. So what do you do? You know the main verb, you know, like for example, mangiare, um, andare, telefonare. You know the, of course, infinitive form. So let's start with the infinito, in fact. In, oh, infinito, yes, infinito. And then from the infinito, what you do is you create, you create the imperativo for two, of course, for the, you know, no, oh, there we go. There we go. I think I really have stumbled upon something very cool. Okay. So, and then you find the conjunctivo imperfetto. This, let me, let me just test this theory. I might make a separate video on this because this could be so great. I mean, if there's an easy way to learn something, isn't that just, just the best thing? Anyway, um, delete. Okay. Let, let's, let's, let's make a few more. Because I've seen a few videos on this. I have, I've never seen anyone explain it this way. Let's see. You've got mangiare. Um, what else? Inviare. Uh, um, what else? Suggest some if anyone's here in the chat box. Never mind. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't want to use are. I want to use a range of ones. Because I don't know if this idea that you have that i have is just true for the are verbs or if it's true for because of course the verbs are different so um let me find you. okay we got okay I, I what else uh okay let's try this so imperative form is just removing manja i'm just guesstimating yeah i'm not like one i'm gonna check of course we it can't be crede Creda? Credi? Credi. Hmm. This one I'm not sure. The ARAs are so easy, no? but this one is a little bit tricky. That's okay, we'll check. We have a handy tool here. Okay, so manja is manja. Manja, okay, perfect, that's right. Uh, in VI, yeah, yeah. Oops, did it not float? In VIA. Yes, that's also right. Seguire. Of course, sometimes you have IRE verbs like capire. It's capisco, capisci, etc. So uh, there are two types of IRE verbs. Segui. Segui, yes, that's right. Okay. Was it on capire? Okay. I think it's um, under... Capi? I don't know. Okay, I will check. I'm just guesstimating. I don't know. Credi, okay, credi. Okay, well, huh, my guess was correct. 
Okay, and Capite. I don't think it's copy. That doesn't make sense, but like... Capi... Capisci. Okay, okay. Okay, so these ISC ones... It's the only one I didn't get, right? But alright, okay, let's see now... What we have to do is... So we got all these different verbs, and let's see if the rule that I have is true for all of them, or just the airy one. So this would be... You you just of course I'm only talking about the uh, EO form because once you know the EO form, the others you can very safely guess for the most part. Uh, but knowing the EO form is where <laughs> I tend to get confused. I mean, with the conjunctival because it's such an annoying tense. Um, hmm. I think let me. Oh well, why not check? Uh, the B. That can't be Capis, she say, because that doesn't make sense at all, because it's this, this is, this is an outlier. Inviase. What is it? Okay, never mind. Redesse? Redesse? I think it would be esse, but I don't know. This can't be Capis, she say, doesn't, I don't know, this looks wrong. I don't think I can just add SSEM. But anyway, um, so... Um, was manjasi or manjasi? Okay, so the first person is manjasi. Okay, okay, so it's manjasi. Okay, that means that I have to go here. Where's my... Okay. So, kapishi. Well, this is the... Let's not bother with this right now. You have... Okay, manjasi. The first form is manjasi. Uh, and... Manjasi. Okay, great. Manjasi. Manjasi. Okay, okay. Imperfecto. Uh, man just say is the thing is conjunctivo for presente it's the same for the first three but imperfetto it's not the same for the first three it's just the same for the first two um in a way in a way you can well anyway let, let, let's uh continue onward with this okay so man just say that we're wrong okay so so, so then in seguisi credisi i'm probably wrong i mean i see the red lines so don't laugh just yet What's wrong with Manjassi? That's weird. You can see it right here. Manjassi. Did I spell it incorrectly? No. Manjassi? Am I... Am I blind? Manjassi. It's the same thing. Let me just copy that and see. Yeah, it's the same. Manjassi. I have no idea what happened. You know, you cannot always trust, by the way, the, the, the auto... This thing. I mean, I have no idea why it's... Let me see if the language... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, now hopefully... There we go, finally. Okay, so Inviasi is probably also correct. Inviasi, there we go. Um, seguisi. Yeah, I can already see the red line, so I know that's probably wrong. But, you know, are, these verbs are so common, so you kind of, you know, ire verbs are always an exception. Because there's two types, right? There's two types of ire. Some have sc, like capisco, finisco, etc. Seguisi. Uh -huh. Yeah, so what is the problem exactly? Why Why is it giving me a wrong... So, so I, it really gets on my nerves anyway so i was right my guess it's working i think i really figured something out but let me not get too confident let me look at crede credesi okay so ah okay credesi because credisi i don't know does, does, that doesn't sound nice does it so anyway but credesi maybe maybe i just need to remove ah no, I think you need to just remove the ending. It's not about forming the imperativo, but it's really about removing. But if you remove the ending, capisce, capesi. Let's check. Let me actually write these guesses down. So I, I, oops. So if I remove the ending re, because that's what we did here. Credesi is removing re, right? Seguisi, removing re and just adding ssi. Inviare, same thing. Manjare, same thing. Okay, so that's a much more dependable rule then. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not spending all this time for nothing. <laughs> if I remove Kapi, and if I just remove RE, and then I get Kapisi or Kapesi, I don't know, Kapesi, Kapesi, let's, let's find out. Kapisi, okay, Kapisi. Did we just, okay, that's, uh, that was a lot of work for nothing. Uh, it turns out it's a lot better to just remove the RE, remove the ending. But when you remove the, that's that's how you form the imperativo. So it's not actually, it's not actually far off. I mean, for the first two, at least for the most regular verbs, you know, are, the rule still stands. So it's not like entirely wrong either. You know, it can help you, like if you're think, because again, if it helps a bit, if it helps with remembering, because maybe I don't remember. Oh, conjunctivo imperfect. Ah, oh, okay. How do I form that? What's the rule for forming conjunctivo imperfect? Maybe you don't remember the rule that oh, I have to delete the R E and then just add S S I. Um. So yeah. Um. That was a lot of work for nothing, but I still think that this will kind of help me remember. Oh, okay. I can form the imperativo because again, you remember. Uh. You can remember it this way. You have infinito, imperativo, imperfetto. Imperativo, imperfetto. This is how I, again, it sounds silly. I'm sure it sounds very silly. But when I have remembered things in this way, it kind of helps. Because like remembering all of this from a table, that's not going to happen. This is good for a reference, just so I can understand the relationship between time and, you know, all that. That's the primary reason for making, you know, this this kind of a chart. So I can understand, like, when do you use it and you know, stuff like that. But you see that, okay, I know, okay, when I see this page here, for example, okay, here's all the forms. But it's easy to make the imperfetto from the imperativo. Imperativo, imperfetto. This helps me anyway, because I know, okay, all I have to do is for the most words, because again, most words will be A-R-E, and so those are pretty easy pretty regular okay so parlare becomes parlassi the third form is different parlasse prendesse venesse fosse facesse so it's the s you can even call the s um conjunction well it's a mood it's not really a well yeah i mean it's the same thing you know in a sense Okay, you see how imperfetto has two S's and how almost all the conjugations in this form have two S's instead of two T's. So another kind of like mental, you know, hack to remember the conjunctivo imperfetto is to just think oh, imperfetto has two T's. And that's the one that I, I changed the two T's to the two, two S's. Uh, you know, it sounds very funny, but it's kind of like a mnemonic that helps you. Oh, I have to use this, you know, form. Okay, but how do I create this form? Ah, oh, it's a double S. Okay, so that should help. Because again, there's four four different conjunctival forms. It can be a bit strange, confusing. Remember all of them. Right, so that's that. Chi lo dice? Osserva e completa le frasi con la forma adeguata del congiuntivo imperfetto dei verbi tra parentesi. Okay. Finalmente, temevo che non blank più. Congiuntivo imperfetto. Imperfetto is the double S's. And here we have che non... Uh, so it's this man. Okay, it's just talking to one person. So remember, in the congiuntivo imperfetto... Unlike the conjuntivo presente, where the first three forms, io, tu, lui, lei, they're all the same. But here, only io and tu are the same. The third form has an e ending. So, for example, arrivasse. Arriva, you form basic form arrivasse. Ah, non sapevo che ti blank i libri gialli. Piacesse. You remove the array. So why exactly are we using? Ah, okay. It's just like imperfetto. You use imperfetto when you make, uh, when you talk about abitudine, you know, characteristics or habits or just generally in the past without a fixed time. So it's the same concept, except if you have que, because que 
not always, not like 100% of the time. But ke almost always means that you're guessing something, you're supposing something, you're afraid of something. Basically, there is a lack of certainty. You're not sure, you're not confident. You don't have like exact knowledge and so you use the imperfetto. In a way, it also makes sense. So imperfect knowledge, imperfetto. Or generally when you, uh, sorry, sorry, um, use imperfect and <laughs> use the conjuntivo imperfecto because your knowledge is imperfect. That's why you say que. Oh, I didn't know you liked uh, these mystery books, these detective books, jolly. I didn't know. That's why. Where were we? Um, we were. Hold on, let me. Sorry, I took a break to drink water now. I forgot. Okay, none of that. Okay. Yeah, so your knowledge is imperfect. It's not perfect. It's not complete. Oh, like this person, for example. He's saying, Oh, I didn't know that you like these, you know, detective mystery books. My knowledge was imperfect. And because it was my knowledge was imperfect, I didn't know to use K. That's why you use the conjunctivo imperfecto. Okay, uh, pero non sapevo che. Wait, who? Is she talking to two people or just the one person? I don't know. Well, let's try it for both forms so you have the basic. Parla, se, o. Maybe if she's talking to about those two people, then it'd be loro. Palacero. Not sure. I'll just have to check. Probably right. Yeah. Non immagino che dormessi. Oops. Let me say oh dormesse. Wait a second. No, no, she's talking to like a no. This would actually be incorrect. I didn't look at the picture carefully. <laughs> yeah. So the first two forms ah yeah, I wouldn't see uh parlas also if it's the two form or if it's the e form i don't know if because here they're obviously friends here they're obviously you know friends or they know each other here i don't know if it's because they're wearing like formal clothes here so at least this woman is so i don't know maybe they're strangers on the street yeah here obviously they're friends because they're calling each other so that would be two dormisi or dormes check Uh, let me see. Wait. Let's see. Non pensavo che buying cucinare così bene. They obviously related. They're close. So, uh, uh, non sapessi tu sapessi. Ah, meno male. Avevo paura che non blank più. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, let's check. Arrivassi. Oh, piacessero. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, because you have piace. Piacere has to agree with the verb. I mean, the noun. <clears throat> so you have libri, plural. Piace. Piace what? Piacessero. Oh. Yes. Okay. This correct and then parlasi parlasi is fine. <clears throat> Dormisi sapessi chiamassi. Okay, great. Ah, done. Che significa? Ascolta il dialogo e rispondi alle domande. Um, sulla espressione dialetto. 
Natale. Oh, che okay, nice. Voi confrontate con un compagno. Qual è l'espressione? Di quale zona è l'espressione? Cosa significa l'espressione? So, what's the term, phrase, word? Where does it come from? What does it mean? Okay, so, this is listening. So, we'll play the tape now. Number 10. Um, try to find the folder. Lezione 4. Oh, is that a message? Oh, okay. Just a second while I respond to this message. It's not loading apart. I don't know why. Um, just a second. Oh, no. Where is the... Um, oops. Where the live... Oh, I don't know how to respond to the... Where is the, uh, oh no, I, 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 I don't have access to the, that box. Oh, I think I can just respond from here. Hold on. I can't believe I'm still figuring this out. <laughs> okay, wait, I have, I have, oh no, I lost the link. Ah, here we are. Just give me a second, I'll respond over here. Um, where is the chat box? No, I can't see the chat box. This is so strange. Um, yeah, MS. Oh, I, this is an old message. I guess you're. You left the stream now, probably. Yeah, I'll continue the German live streams from me once I'm done with my exams for Italian. Um, I mean, like... A second. Okay, there we go. Oh, all right. What's that? Why is it highlighted like that? Yeah, anyway, so listing. Um, right. Russians. Lezione 4. Traccia 10. Certo, Giulio. Che ti sei proprio arrabbiato in quella discussione su Facebook. Quale? Dai, quella dove Francesco appoggiava la riforma della scuola. Ah, sì, sì, ma non me la sono presa davvero. È che Francesco a volte è troppo suscettibile. Non si può fare una critica che subito la mette sul personale. Sì, ma tu gli hai imbruttito, però. Cosa ho fatto io? Gli hai imbruttito, dai, non puoi dire di no. Sì, ho sentito la parola, ma che significa? Che sei stato aggressivo, che hai esagerato... Ma davvero non sai cosa significa? Guarda che quando usi questi modi di dire romani, per me è come se parlassi arabo. Ma non credo che sia romano. Certo che è romano. Di certo comunque non è toscano. Boh. E comunque non sono stato per niente aggressivo. Se lo dici tu. Lezione 4. Traccia 10. Certo, Giulio, che ti sei proprio arrabbiato in quella discussione su Facebook. Quale? Dai, quella dove Francesco appoggiava la riforma della scuola. Ah, sì, sì, ma non me la sono presa davvero. È che Francesco a volte è troppo suscettibile. Non si può fare una critica che subito la mette sul personale. Sì, ma tu gli hai imbruttito, però. Cosa ho fatto io? Gli hai imbruttito, dai, non puoi dire di no. Sì, ho sentito la parola, ma che significa? Che sei stato aggressivo, che hai esagerato. Ma davvero non sai cosa significa? Guarda che quando usi questi modi di dire romani, per me è come se parlassi arabo. Ma non credo che sia romano. Certo che è romano. Di certo comunque non è toscano. Boh. E comunque non sono stato per niente aggressivo. Se lo dici tu. Lezione 4. 
e mi è ingiudito viene da Roma essere aggressivi ok ok da it it cosa ho fatto io ingiudito tipica <laughs> it's like you're speaking Arabic when you use such expressions we might say it's all Greek to me because that's what we say when we don't understand something <laughs> Ok, non credo che sia. Ok, there we go. Come se frasi e coniuga al congiuntivo imperfetto i verbi indicati tra parentesi. Per me è come se parlassi arabo. Congiuntivo imperfetto. Non, si, non parla con nessuno, si comporta come se... Sì, okay. oh, so these are not... Oh, you have to join them. Ok, ok. Well, we can... No, we have to... Noi essere. Stare is a bit funny because the, you change the A to E. Sometimes that happens. Stare is not like, of course, it's an exception. It's, it's, a, uh, it's an irregular verb. Non è mangiare, mangiassi, mangiassi, mangiassi. Deve essere a casa tua. Si importa come se. It can't be the assi that doesn't make sense. Fossi? Fossi, fossi, fossi. I think it's fossi, but let me check. Yep, ok. Volere dirmi qualcosa di importante. So, volessi. Let's check. I think these are all. They seem to be, yeah, irregular. For example, capissi, capissimo. Capissimo. Capissimo? Uh, I don't know. Well, let, let me check this one. Oh, well, I can just check the answers here. Oh, I could have fill it all out. So, sta would be insieme, si abbracciano, si tengono. Accomodati, fa come se fossi a casa tua. This would be A. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. Ma insomma, vi comportate come se... Ah, you behave as if you were together. You hug and you hold hands. So, that would be G. So, that would be voi. Eh? Mia madre cucina ancora come se eh? non parla con nessuno. Non parla come se... Oh, this would be D. Doesn't talk to anyone. Behaves as if he's angry. Uh, mi spiega sempre le cose mille volte come se... Eh, as if I'm 10 years old. Quei due si, comport si comportano come se... Ah, this makes sense. Oh no, this also makes sense. Uff, non lo so, mi ha guardato come se... Oh, that would be io. Mm, mi spiega sempre la cosa mia. Because of course the form will change depending on if it's EO2, etc. Come se dieci anni? In otto, what does that mean? Is that some weird phrase I don't know about? What is that? <laughs> nope, not this. Oh, that's a good thing. Um, arrabbiato, that would definitely be deep. Mm. 
both gonna go missing. This could actually match. This one could match as well. It's not confusing. Me guardato come se. What what's this anyway? I have to check because this is confusing. There can be many possibilities. I mean, at least the way I see it. These are these are irregular. One D to G, one D to G, and the third one is E. Not okay. Oh, ah, you behave as if you are ten years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so I'll just say that would be. Then this is fine. In fact, E G E G E. BD si comporta come tu Yeah. Um, and then is it V voi? Okay. That would be a vest a vest. And G is the okay. Miss Piega, come non is that right? Okay, what's the capisci of What? Oh, they mean ah, okay. D is there, yeah. G is capisci e aveste. Possible. Possible. Oh, G is. Ah. Oh. EV Are you sure? Yes. Ah. That's the. Lower of them. I don't think that's right. I think that's a typo. Oh, well, let's say it's B. Oh, B. I don't know which one it is. It could be mia madre. No, no, no. Also, ah, you look at me as if he, he looked at me. So that would be well, let's say that's right. Okay, great. And one thing that's weird is um, for the, you know, um, you, uh, for the, which form is that? Uh, Side becomes the, the, the it's for the void form. You have um noi boy. Yeah, you see how it's s and then you don't have anything. You don't have it's not stessete. It's just teste. So it's a bit a bit shorter than what you would expect. You might think oh stessimo stessete stessero, but it's not. So that's a bit of a difference there as well. Um. Foste instead of you know fossete or something. That is something after the third the voi form you have to be careful about because it's different than what you might think naturally. Ascolta tutte le volte necessari e sei ne accanto alle seguenti affermazioni. Okay, listen and mark. Okay, so you have to read since it's listening. You need to read first. La persona desiderata non può andare al telefono. La persona, persona, desiderata non presente. La persona che telefona ha sbagliato il numero. La persona che risponde non conosce la persona che telefona. La persona che chiama lascia un messaggio. Now we'll listen to tape 11. Traccia. Undici. Uno. Mm. 
Le nostre linee sono momentaneamente occupate. Restate in attesa per non perdere il turno. Pronto? Studio Moretti. Buonasera. Mi passa il dottor Moretti, per favore. Chi lo desidera? Sono l'ingegner Magistri. Ah, buonasera, ingegnere. Buonasera. Senta, il dottor Moretti è impegnato sull'altra linea. Vuole che la faccio richiamare? No, non importa. Gli dica che oggi non mi sento bene, quindi non posso venire all'appuntamento. Se per il dottore va bene, però, può venire lui a casa mia. Sono libero dalle 5 alle 7. Ah, va bene. Glielo dico io. La ringrazio. 2. Pronto? Pronto, scusi, sto cercando la ditta De Angelis. No, mi dispiace, ha sbagliato numero. Ah, va bene, mi scusi. 3. Pronto? Eh, pronto. Buongiorno, sono il dottor Borgelli. Potrei parlare con la signora Nardini? Sì? Un attimo, gliela passo subito. 4. Pronto? Carla, ciao, senti, la mamma è già tornata? No, ha detto che oggi sarebbe tornata più tardi perché c'era il consiglio di classe. Ah, sì, sì, è vero, già me l'aveva detto. Senti, io stasera probabilmente farò tardi e comunque se posso la richiamo prima che inizi la riunione. Io però non so se la vedo perché sto uscendo. E allora scrivile un biglietto. Va bene, ciao. Ciao. Lezione 4. Traccia 10. Certo, Giulio, che ti sei proprio arrabbiato in quella discussione su Facebook. Quale? Traccia 11. 1. Le nostre linee sono momentaneamente occupate. Restate in attesa per non perdere il turno. Pronto? Studio Moretti. Buonasera. Mi passa il dottor Moretti, per favore. Chi lo desidera? Sono l'ingegner Magistri. Ah, buonasera, ingegnere. Buonasera. Senta, il dottor Moretti è impegnato sull'altra linea. Vuole che la faccio richiamare? No, non importa. Gli dica che oggi non mi sento bene, quindi non posso venire all'appuntamento. Se per il dottore va bene, però, può venire lui a casa mia. Sono libero dalle 5 alle 7. Ah, va bene. Glielo dico io. La ringrazio. 2. Pronto? Pronto, scusi, sto cercando la ditta De Angelis. No, mi dispiace, ha sbagliato numero. Ah, va bene, mi scusi. 3. Pronto? Eh, pronto. Buongiorno, sono il dottor Borgelli. Potrei parlare con la signora Nardini? Sì? Un attimo, gliela passo subito. 4. Pronto? Carla, ciao, senti, la mamma è già tornata? No, ha detto che oggi sarebbe tornata più tardi perché c'era il consiglio di classe. Ah, sì, sì, è vero, già me l'aveva detto. Senti, io stasera probabilmente farò tardi e comunque, se posso, la richiamo prima che inizi la riunione. Io però non so se la vedo perché sto uscendo. E allora scrivile un biglietto. Va bene, ciao. Ciao. A one, one and four, oh, eight, four. Ah, okay, right, because she was not there. So both are right that she's not there. And she, of course, she couldn't come to the phone because she's not there. So one, tape one is, oh, no, no, no. A is one and four. So for A, I've marked, okay. This one, actually, I should mark it as red. But anyway, I'm not going to check this again, so the B is 4, B is, okay, that wouldn't be right, I don't know why I selected this then, mm, oh well, a G to A, yep, okay, that's right, G to A, I don't know, why would that be, hmm. That's... Oh, this is so confusing. D is 2, D is 2, and 3. 
B is both two and three. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, the person who responds doesn't know. So because he says, no, that means both two and three. Okay, here obviously she picks up and says, oh, that's you got the wrong number. So of course she doesn't know. I thought only I thought you could only choose one. Maybe they should have added that. <laughs> anyway. Last one. He can be both one and four. Yeah, because he tells her to call her or something. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh well, let's try the next one. Riascolta le telefonate e scrivi le forme che si usano per chiedere, presentarsi, chiedere chi è la telefonata, rispondere, da, da, ok. Listen again. Caccia undici. Uno. Le nostre linee sono momentaneamente occupate. Restate in attesa per non perdere il turno. Pronto? Studio Moretti. Buonasera. Mi passa il dottor Moretti, per favore. Chi lo desidera? Sono l'ingegner Magistri. Ah, buonasera, ingegnere. Buonasera. Senta, il dottor Moretti è impegnato sull'altra linea. Vuole che la faccio richiamare? No, non importa. Gli dica che oggi non mi sento bene, quindi non posso venire all'appuntamento. Se per il dottore va bene, però, può venire lui a casa mia. Sono libero dalle 5 alle 7. Ah, va bene. Glielo dico io. La ringrazio. 2. Pronto? Pronto, scusi, sto cercando la ditta De Angelis. No, mi dispiace, ha sbagliato numero. Ah, va bene, mi scusi. 3. Traccia 11. 1. Le nostre linee sono momentaneamente occupate. Restate in attesa per non perdere il turno. Pronto? Studio Moretti. Buonasera. Mi passa il dottor Moretti, per favore. Chi lo desidera? Sono l'ingegner Magistri. Ah, buonasera, ingegnere. Buonasera. Senta, il dottor Moretti è impegnato. Pronto? Studio Moretti. Buonasera. Mi passa il dottor Moretti, per favore. Chi lo desidera? Sono l'ingegner Magistri. Ah, buonasera, ingegnere. Buonasera. Senta, il dottor Moretti è impegnato sull'altra linea. Vuole che la faccio richiamare? impegnato sull'altra linea. Vuole che la faccia... Posso richiamare? No, non importa. Gli dica che oggi non mi sento bene, quindi non posso venire all'appuntamento. Se per il dottore va bene, però, può venire lui a casa mia. Sono libero dalle 5 alle 7. Ah, va bene. Glielo dico io. La ringrazio. 2. Pronto? Pronto, scusi, sto cercando la ditta De Angelis. No, mi dispiace. Ho sbagliato numero. De Angelis. No, mi dispiace, ha sbagliato numero.
Ah, va bene, mi scusi. 3. Pronto? Eh, pronto. Buongiorno, sono il dottor Borgelli. Potrei parlare con la signora Nardini? Sì? Un attimo, gliela passo subito. 4. Pronto? Carla, ciao, senti, la mamma è già tornata? No, ha detto che oggi sarebbe tornata più tardi per... perché c'era il consiglio di classe. Ah, sì, sì, è vero, già me l'aveva detto. Senti, io stasera probabilmente farò tardi e comunque se posso la richiamo prima che inizi la riunione. Io però non so se la vedo perché sto uscendo. E allora scrivile un biglietto. Va, Va bene, ciao. Ciao. Oh, ok. Uh, okay. Oh, mm. I forgot this one. Okay, well, that's fine. Il discorso in diretto. Ecco alcuni messaggi che si riferiscono alle telefonate che hai ascoltato. Riascolta again, ok, e indica quali telefonate in particolare si riferiscono. Okay. We have some. Yeah. Okay, which telephone calls do they refer to? Traccia 11 1 Le nostre linee sono momentaneamente occupate. Restate in attesa per non perdere il turno. Pronto, studio Moretti. Buonasera, mi passa il dottor Moretti, per favore. Chi lo desidera? Sono l'ingegner Magistri. Ah, buonasera, ingegnere. Buonasera. Senta, il dottor Moretti è impegnato sull'altra linea. Vuole che la faccio richiamare? No, non importa. Gli dica che oggi non mi sento bene, quindi non posso venire all'appuntamento. Se per il dottore va bene, però, può venire lui a casa mia. Sono libero dalle 5 alle 7. Ah, va bene. Glielo dico io. La ringrazio. 2. Pronto? Pronto, scusi, sto cercando la ditta De Angelis. No, mi dispiace, ha sbagliato numero. Ah, va bene, mi scusi. 3. Pronto? Eh, pronto. Buongiorno, sono il dottor Borgelli. Potrei parlare con la signora Nardini? Sì? Un attimo, gliela passo subito. 4. Pronto? Carla, ciao, senti, la mamma è già tornata? No, ha detto che oggi sarebbe tornata più tardi perché c'era il consiglio di classe. Ah, sì, sì, è vero, già me l'aveva detto. Senti, io stasera probabilmente farò tardi e comunque, se posso, la richiamo prima che inizi la riunione. Io però non so se la vedo perché sto uscendo. E allora scrivile un biglietto. Va bene, ciao. Ciao. Lezione 4 Leggi i biglietti e complea le frasi con un discorso diretto. Okay, so here we have indirect, uh, ha chiamato, ha detto, ha detto che oggi non si sente bene, quindi non può venire all'appuntamento. <coughs> ha detto che se vuole però può andare lì a casa, è libero, ok, ha, ha detto che farà tardi. E tutti richiamo prima del anch'io non ce l'ho ancora l'ingegnere magistri dice alla segretaria oggi non mi sento bene quindi non posso venire 
Sí, pero eso solo va pene, pero... Oh. Oh, uh, può andare lui a casa mia sono libero dalle 5 alle 7 e il papà dice alla figlia stasera probabilmente farò party. e comunque se poti se posso io Uh, richiamo che okay, ripo oh, let me check what happens is well if this is direct speech is just copying exactly what the person said word for word but when you say for example il papa il papa dice che stasera probabilmente farà tardi this um is what the, the, the um third person the louis lay form i think yeah let me just check it's not the eo form it's not <clears throat> it's not the two form either ah we'll do it. okay let me check All right e one before that's right mi sento posso venire mi sento posso venire può venire mia sono that's right può venire. oh può venire oops Elevator. go come <gasps> ok ok so andare is go but venire is come that also has to change and things like questo quello G, etc. Those will also change. Um, Farò, posso la richiamo. Posso io, posso, no, her. Oh, sorry, uh, can I call him? So posso lo. Ti richiamo prima di lui. Okay. Mm, there's another thing. Messaggi. Completa i messaggi modificando gli elementi evidenziati nei discorsi indiretti. So indirect is Giulio ha scritto a Roberto che oggi non può andare a giocare a tennis con lui. Poi gli ha scritto che se vuole Roberto lo può richiamare così si mettono d'accordo per martedì prossimo. Ciao Roberto, oggi non posso... Oh, come, leave. Okay. Oh, I don't know what's wrong I mean, um, hmm. Okay, uh, giocare a tennis con te. Se, se vuole, okay. Io voglio, ma vuole, it's, uh, A boy, oh, a boy, a boy, uh, a boy, a boy, to chiamare così, uh, no, 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 So, um, boy, the boy, um, boy, the key, the key army. <laughs> oh, that's already there. Mm, okay, okay. The boy, me boy. Mm. I guess it should be me. Mm, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, me lo presti me I'll keep that it's probably a mistake but I'll keep that I'll check of course così si mettono ok ok così uh, mi uh, non lo okay. 
così uh, abbiamo no. sì. Met mettersi ok metterci c metto no um... ci mettiamo Posso venire se vuoi. Posso... Ah, stop, ok. Andare always changes them to venire. Uh, con te vuoi, mi puoi, ci mettiamo. Oh, that was right. <laughs> ok. And then, this one here, stasera... De group chat ok Pier Luigi ha creato un gruppo su una chat 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 e ha scritto un messaggio a Elena per dirle che non riesce a telefonarle perché il suo telefono non prende voleva avvertirla che stasera lui e Paola vanno da Federica anche Federica ha scritto a Elena lei ha detto che se vuole andare a cena a casa sua, le deve chiamare entro le sette. Per lui c'è Ok, so this is from him. Elena non riusci... Uh, no, no, non riesco. Non riesco a telefonarti. No, telefonarti. Perché il mio telefono non prende. Volevo avvertirlo. Stasera uh, lui fanno. Io e Paola. No. Eh, sì. Uh, is, mm. uh, and, uh, io e Paola. Noi. Uh, andiamo. Eh, vanno, è coming, ok. Uh, ok. Oh, che no, oh, vanno. Andiamo. So, why is this? Andiamo da? That's what, that's what confused me, because do they really use andiamo da? Andiamo, I would expect, you know, Ah, but that, that's that's what really tripped me. But anyway, um, se vuoi, se vuoi, lei ha detto che se vuole andare, se vuoi venire a cena a casa mia, mi, mi devi chiamare. Riesco a telefonarti, riesco a telefonarti mio wait what it's so who's telephone ah because he's saying oh, this is the so could be hers or his <laughs> he couldn't call her because she's not picking up okay okay that was not okay he is to a telephone okay stasera io andiamo Venire Miami Devi, venire Miami Devi. Oh, wait, nice, okay. And this is the an email. Anna ha letto su Facebook che Carlo va a Napoli per lavoro la prossima settimana. Così gli ha scritto una mail per dirgli che se le telefona prendono un caffè insieme. Da Anna, che okay. ciao Carlo, ho letto su Facebook che tu che uh, e vai se vuole no, se... telefono se mi telefono oh no 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 se mi telefoni Prendiamo. Oh, 
o vieni mi telefoni vieni o no venire andare so, because you know in a lot of uh, andare congregazione you sometimes have the va form so it's a bit confusing vieni okay Yes, one messaggi per la classe in coppia scrivete un messaggio a un compagno il messaggio sarà poi dato a un altro compagno il quale dovrà riferirlo al destina destinatario originario potete scrivere un invito un'informazione interessante un consiglio eccetera per Linda da parte di noi sabato sera andiamo in pizzeria vuoi venire con noi and then and so you create a message right okay well oralmente discorso in diretto so you would say for you see you this in the class and you see ah okay uh per Linda uh so Gianni e Bar Bar Barbara um, um, hanno, hanno scritto che um, loro, andiamo, loro vanno sabato sera in pizzeria se uh, loro hanno um, domandato chi è chiedo chiesto something like that asked se Linda Mm, vuole vuole andare con loro so you would change the basically just change the form from direct to indirect direct to direct ok pronto in coppia scegliete un ruolo e improvvisate le seguenti telefonate so A and B they play roles this is again just classwork it's good for oral production though but yeah this isn't right vuoi parlare con l'avvocato Panucci ma sbagli numero ti scusi e ti congedi. Ti chiamo una persona che ha sbagliato un numero. Glielo fai presente. So, little dialogues in the classroom. And we've reached the end. Okay, so that's what we did. Phone calls, practically. What to use during phone calls. And just the congiuntivo imperfetto. Come se. Come se also uses the congiuntivo. Il discorso in diretto. Not bad. This isn't too bad. It's kind of the same principle as English anyway. Andare e venire. Now this one you have to be a bit careful about it. I keep messing them up. And then you have the video course. So great videos. Real fun. Uh, so just go on to Almada TV and uh, watch the videos. So I'll see you in the next episode. Next video. Until then. Ciao. Arrivederci.